Hi everybody, it is Mindy and um, this is my weekly, weekly, it's a weekly Wiccan chat. <laughs> How about a weekly whip and chat? How's that? Does that sound any better? That sounds a little better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys. Um, let me just say, uh, I think I've hit my, hit my limit almost, almost at my limit of things I can handle at the moment. <laughs> uh-huh. It's Tuesday. I'm recording this on Tuesday because my whooping chats go up on Wednesday. But it is the Tuesday before I leave for the retreat on Wednesday morning. Mm -hmm. I'm a little scattered. Just a little bit, okay? I've got, I don't even know how many things to do today, all right? And I added something to my day. Well, I didn't add it, but something got added to my day that I really want to do, but in a way, I'm like, I don't really think I have time to do it, but I don't know. Oh, God. Anyhow, so many things to do yet, but now it's me stuff. Nothing left for the retreat at this point that I need to get done. That's all squared away. All I have to do is load the stuff in my car for the retreat. But I need to get myself organized. I need to pack my clothes, my diamond painting stuff, all of my things like that. Get my hair done today. Mm, yeah, got to get my hair done. All right. Um, and the other thing that got added to the list was from our teachers union. As many of you have heard in the past, because I retired last year, at the height of the pandemic, or just when it was actually when it was getting going, um, there was no retirement celebrations, nothing like that. Um, our district usually does something for us, a dinner and things like that, and that didn't happen. So our district, well, our union, not the school district themselves, but our teachers union has put together a little retirement drive by <laughs> so we can drive out by the office the union office right and they're gonna have like a gift for us and um certificate things like that so i thought you know yeah i i want to go i worked for the district for 23 years i want to go and you know receive my recognition that's you know so they they're doing it for this year's retirees and then for last year's retirees as well so yeah so i'm gonna do that okay um it's like an open house type drive-by situation <clears throat> you just drive through and um yeah it's open like from 9 30 to 11 30. i have a hair appointment at one so you see where this is going right <laughs> So I am up now doing my whip and chat, getting this done, hopefully getting this all processed and uploaded and things like that. So it's ready for tomorrow um, because I'll be taking off early in the morning tomorrow. So last thing I want to worry about tomorrow is this whip and chat. So I'm trying to get it all done today. And then I'll head out to um, the union. <clears throat> and then from there, I will go directly to getting my hair done and then home and then when i get home of course i will probably at that point load my car with all of the stuff it's boxes and boxes of stuff you guys i will i'll show you a picture or a video or something of everything i'm going to be putting in my car okay it's crazy um <clears throat> because i'm local and driving you know People were just sending stuff to my address, the door prizes, different things like that, so that I can take them, and that's what I'm doing. So lots and lots of stuff, all right? And that doesn't even include going shopping for food yet, doing that when we get there. <laughs> Kara and I are going shopping to get breakfast foods and things like that, and ice cream, and yeah, so we'll be shopping when we get there. Woo, fun, fun, fun. But yeah, there's just, it, it's crunch time. You know what I mean? Now it's crunch time. And all of the time, the planning and all of those efforts, it's time for it to all come together and 
Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> right? <clears throat> so needless to say, I have a list. I, I don't have an actual written down list. I'm not good at writing down lists. I'm just not. Um, but I have a list in my head of what needs to happen. Um, it's pretty basic. You know, I don't think I'm going to forget anything. Um, little things along the way that I've said, oh, I'm going to bring that. I'm going to bring that. I've been gathering along the way. So they're kind of already gathered up. So I don't have to worry about those little things, hopefully. And, you know, here is our philosophy. This is the way that my husband and I travel. We're like, well, pack what we can. And if we forget something, guess what? There's always stores. <laughs> as long as I don't forget like the main stuff, you know, like the door prizes and things like that. <laughs> However... I am only 40 minutes away from the site. So even if I forget something, I either come home and get it or I call up the hubby and I'm like, honey, uh, no, <laughs> but it'll all be fine. It will all be fine. I have all of that stuff basically in one area and I just have to put it all in my car. So there's that. Yeah. Um, Looking forward to it so much. I know that some of you have probably heard so much about it at this point because all of us that are going are talking about it. And I know that now people are like, man, I wish I could have gone. I wish I could have gone. Okay, guys, listen. You got to listen up. Okay. Next time a retreat, you hear anything about a retreat being planned and there will be others, I'm certain. Um, you know, you got to, you got to jump on it. You got to figure out what you got to do. Sign up, pay some money, you know, get in on it because, you know, that's the only way you're going to, you're going to hear about it through a YouTube or somewhere, most likely. And then uh, just jump on it, jump on it and do it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, need a drink. Yeah, drink. Uh, it's early in the morning and um, I haven't been up really doing anything or talking. And so my voice is trying to get, uh, woken up. <laughs> Do you ever have that problem that you just, when you wake up in the morning, you just got to get things going. Everything's got to get going in the morning, you know, right now it is my voice. <clears throat> my throat is kind of, well, you know, it's Michigan. And if you have allergies at all, you'll understand you know, I have my summer allergies. Spring and summer is the worst times for me for allergies. And I definitely get them. So I get the stuffy nose or runny nose or sneezy or watery eyes. You know, all that good stuff that comes with allergies. And so mornings are the worst because like I literally just like took an allergy pill probably I don't know, 30 minutes ago, you know what I mean? So it's got to have some time to kick in and all that stuff. Yeah. But anyhow, I'm sure you needed to hear all that, right? You just needed to hear all that. <laughs> oh boy. So let's see. Um, let me talk about some important things and then I'll chat for a minute. And I do have, um, giveaway information, um, it's my week to talk about giving something away, and I'll do that closer to the end of the video. You know, yeah, you know that. Closer to the end of the video, <laughs> um, we'll talk about the giveaway. But what are we giving away something for? Well, we're giving away something for our Sheena Pike Along, right? Yes, we are doing the Sheena Pike Along. This is my Sheena Pike I'm working on. This one is from Diamond Art Club. It is the Fuchsia Tiger. And I cannot begin to explain how beautiful it is. Can you see this rose? Look at this rose. All right. This is my first hummingbird. I call them hummingbirds. Um, this is my first hummingbird over here. I put a few extra ABs in him. Not a ton. I didn't want it to just be, you know, glowing, glittery, whatever. So I put a few extra ABs. I kind of outlined him with AB purple. Um, and there is some pink ABs in his chest, but I also added some white ABs to his beak here. It's weird. This is a gray. I hope you can see what I'm pointing at, but this is a gray 
part of his beak and then this part was white so i made this part white ab but left the gray you know you need some definition there i guess so um but this rose the roses are beautiful the roses are let me see one two three four five six different pinks in a rose no that's wrong six seven maybe eight different pinks in the rose um and there is one AB that it came with, but like, for example, in this part of the rose right here, I'm working on, um, the ABs are right here. There is one, <laughs> two, <laughs> one, two, two ABs right there. <laughs> and so I have decided to add an AB. Oh, whoops. I'm sorry. Here's two more over here. Here's two more ones over here. So there's four AB in this section right here. So what I did is I've decided to replace all of this, this is one color, with an AB. Just to give it a little extra, you know, a, a little extra glisten. Because seriously, I think every time I do flowers, oh, sh I should have put those away. I should have put those away. What was it? Was it e the equal sign? Oh my gosh. I have drills in my tray. I get busy talking and look, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I think flowers and leaves pick up light and have an extra little glisten and they need to actually have a little shine i felt one fall here where'd it go there it is so that's what i've done is added an extra ab all right and we're going to work on that right now let me get the four let me get the four that it came with first <laughs> we'll do those four first but it's absolutely beautiful just beautiful that's all i can say about it it's gorgeous it's been so much fun to work on it's one of those it's it's a canvas that you go hmm this is why i diamond paint this is what it's supposed to be like right this is diamond painting where you just can relax lay down some drills watch hello you need to get off so i can move these over thank you so um, you can just make a beautiful picture and the art of relaxing here and that this is it. Uh, this is it. I'm telling you, this is it. Okay. All right. Here is my pink AB that I'm adding. It's 605. I totally hope I have enough of these. If I don't have enough of these to finish this flower, because it's in this flower, which is fairly large. And then there's some in this flower. I hope I have enough. Otherwise, I'm going to be like, Tina, oh my gosh, I can't finish my painting. Maybe I should order some more. What's the date today? Uh, if I do an order, I think I have to have an order into her by today. She'll bring it to the retreat, but I have to have it done today. I don't know. Uh, I'm contemplating this. Contemplating that I maybe need some more. <laughs> Anyhow, um, there you have it. But... It really is a dream, just a dream. All right. Um, so Shay, who is working on, last I knew, I think she was working on Frenchy corn. Super cute, her little Frenchy corn. Hers is a partial, so I think she's doing some other stuff as well. She's, you know, spreading that one out. So she doesn't finish the whole thing right away, you know, <laughs> because it's a partial and it's pretty quick to do. But super fun 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 you guys um on that note um shay did a giveaway announced her giveaway last week she's announcing her winner this week all right her weapon chat will go up on thursday and she'll be announcing the winner from last week i'm announcing um how to enter to be a winner for a, a drawing. That's what I'm doing this week and I'll give my prize away next week. I've already given one away. Actually, I have not heard from that person so I suppose it's time I just reach out to them because I do know how to get a hold of her. So I should reach out and say, um, guess what? You probably didn't notice this, but you won. So I will do that, you know, at some point here. Probably when I get settled at the retreat and have a few minutes to just sit and breathe. That's when I'll do that. Yes. So there's that. 
Um, so make sure that you're watching our videos. Make sure you stay tuned to see if you won Shay's prize. Listen so you can hear how to enter for my prize. And, you know, basically just have fun. Diamond paint Ashina Pike and enjoy it. It's so much fun. They're so pretty. I love her artwork. Um, and speaking of her artwork, we're going to be able to talk to Sheena about her artwork. Um, so we know that, well, I know at this point that she now has paintings with Diamond Art Club. She has paintings with Craftably. And she has paintings with Paint With Diamonds. So she's been licensed many places now, which is exciting for her. You know, it means people are liking her artwork. They're turning them into diamond paintings. Um, it's good for her. She's helping to support her family. Awesome. Just awesome, right? Um, so we're going to be able to talk to her about her artwork um, in a live interview Saturday. And I'm coming to you live from the retreat on Saturday. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk with Sheena for a part of the live and talk to her about her art. And we have a couple surprises in the live. I'm not going to tell you what. You just have to show up to find out what the surprises are. Um, and talk to her about her art and see what she's working on and talk to her about what we like and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, then we're going to talk to Craftably later as one of the places that has licensed her artwork. We're not combining the two, um, just because of, you know, licensing issues and things like that and what she needs to do for her business and things like that. So they will be separate interviews, but one right after the other during the same time slot, you know, one right after the other. So you can look forward to that. So keep in mind, if there's things you want to know, like somebody already asked the question in one of my videos, is there a significance about the rose over the eye, you know, on this painting specifically, or some of her other cat paintings? So we can ask that question. Is there, you know, is there a reason or what? what's the thinking behind that? Or, you know, things like that. Talk about um, what our favorite art of hers is. Some people may think it's the dragons. Some people, I mean, she does horses. I love the horses. I love the cats. So we'll talk about all those kinds of things. And like I said, there's a couple surprises. All right. Uh, yeah. So I hope you can make it for that. That will be very exciting. All right. All right. Um, what else? What else? What else? Anything else with the Sheena Pike along? Continue to post your pictures to Instagram. Hashtag Sheena Pike along. I try to get on Instagram at least every couple days and look at people's pictures and, you know, at least, you know, give them a like. So, um, yeah, it's interesting the variety of things that people are working on. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. That's it for the Sheena Pike along, I think. Okay. Um, let's move on to the next thing. Next thing. And it, okay. It's life has happened, folks. Everybody's been busy. Um, I did post it months ago when I posted my schedule that I would be doing Christmas in July with Maritza. All right. We did it last year for the first time. This will be our second time doing Christmas in July. I know she's talked about it in some whip and chats and things, and I have it on my schedule that I posted. Maybe I should post that schedule again. I know um, if you don't do it every so often, you know, people don't remember. I get that. Need reminders. I understand. But we are doing Christmas in July, you guys. We are. Um, so be thinking about that. July is coming. I know there has not been a video announcement. Like I said, Life has happened. Life has gotten busy. She was out of town. She went on a little vacation. She's working full time. I'm working. I'm doing retreat planning. It's just life, you know, life. And then all of a sudden we, we look up and it's like, dang, it's almost July, <laughs> right? It's July in just, you know, a matter of days. And here we sit and we haven't done an official announcement. So we will. <laughs> 
We will, we will. I put one on my community page today. All right, just so you know. I put an announcement on the community page and there will be a video announcement coming. It just, you know, I'm putting it out there right now. It's happening. Just be patient with us, okay? Please be patient with us, but it is happening. So be thinking about what you want to do for Christmas in July. It can be Christmassy or wintry. You choose. I've got I've got so many choices now, you guys. I'm not certain what I want to do. I thought I knew what I was going to do, but I don't know. I don't know which one I want to do at this point. So I'm going to have to really think about it. Um, make a wise choice. Wise choice. <laughs> So we will let you know more information about all the details just now. Know that it is for the month of July, Christmas or winter. Okay, Christmas or winter, July 1st. It will start. More details to follow. <laughs> so sorry that there has not been a better notice of that. <laughs> but anyhow, there's that. Um, okay, I think that is all of the... Uh, business side of things I think I can't think of anything else mm. all right uh, how was everybody's Father's Day I know that for some people um, they still have their fathers with them here on earth and get to spend time with them I'm one of those people I am fortunate to be able to do that my dad is 85 um, still going strong, you know, for 85, he's kicking. <laughs> and, um, my parents came over for Father's Day. We celebrated Father's Day and Shannon's birthday. Her birthday is the 24th. I will be at the retreat. So I thought, well, let's just do this thing for Father's Day, birthday, you know, and we'll just do it all in one. I might finish this section, you guys, while I'm talking to you and have to, like, open up a new section here or something. Hopefully. I mean, I'm more than halfway. This is this is uh, past the halfway point. So I'm, I'm cruising along here. And then taking it to the retreat. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I'll get it done. So everybody came over. My niece came up. She lives about an hour and 45 minutes away. So it's a little trip for her to make it. But... She did. She came up and she brought her puppy up again and puppy went in the pond. Oh my goodness. The puppy had a good time in the pond. So we have this big long line, big rope. It's all wrapped up on a roll and Dale has a stick through it so it can unwind, you know, kind of like a kite would. You know, think about a kite, your kite line, your string. So we hooked her up to that so that she could be a little more free, have a little more space to roam instead of just on a leash because she really, really, really wanted to get into the water. And so once we hooked her up on that little, uh, on that line, it's not little, it's long, sorry. Uh, we hooked her up on the line and she could run free and swim free. <laughs> she saw the ducks. The ducks were on the other side of the pond and she was like, yes please and she ran into the pond and then she hit the drop off where it got deeper and she had to swim she started swimming and man did she swim 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 all the way across the pond to the other side she got stuck a little bit in the cattails when she hit the cattails over there because there's still a patch of cattails <laughs> and she got stuck there a little bit but she persevered and she kept swimming and she made her way through <laughs> to the other side you know of course just in time for the ducks to be like no i don't think so <laughs> and for the ducks to take off on her and then she was like wait a minute wait a minute you know then she's on land and she thinks she's going to try to chase them at that point but that was unsuccessful, <laughs> but that was her first big swim. It was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. Um, so then she just wanted to run around and run around the pond and wherever the ducks were, she wanted to try to run that way. And so finally she had to just contain her a little bit and be like, no, okay, you're, you're done. Oh, shoot. I have one on my finger. <laughs> um, but that was a hoot. That was quite a hoot. 
we had a nice like mid-afternoon lunch um after we'd spent time in the morning with his daughter and the grandkids um, we went to breakfast oh my gosh we went to breakfast in this little town that he used to live in with the kids you know that's where his kids were raised i should say um this little restaurant good little restaurant um worth going out there to go to that little restaurant hadn't been there in years and so we decided that's where we we're gonna go they make a great breakfast they got a great price on their breakfast you know all that so first thing we didn't realize is that it's father's day sunday i've lost my sticky i've lost my sticky and i might have to just pause and get some glue dots here and um seriously get some glue dots in my pen open up this new section before i keep talking um but they make a great breakfast and we had to wait <laughs> they had a line and a half you guys we waited an hour an hour to get in to get breakfast um and we could have gone someplace else, but we just didn't feel like packing up everybody, the kids and everything, and going to find some different place for breakfast. So we just, we waited it out, you know, we just waited it out. And the breakfast, oh my gosh, when the breakfast came, I ordered the simple breakfast. It had like two pancakes, some eggs, and bacon. I thought, okay, that's it. Well, I did not realize when the pancakes got there, or when I ordered the pancakes, that they were going to be the size of a platter. Yeah. Okay, you're not going in there because you're upside down? Is that it? Yeah, you're upside down. Okay, let's put you in the right way. There you go. Now you'll stay. Yeah, size of a platter. Two pancakes. Big as a dinner plate. Seriously. And I was like, uh, I can't eat those. <laughs> so, I mean, I just, you know... I nibbled away on them. I ate maybe half of it. So I maybe ate one whole pancake and then the eggs and one piece of bacon. And I'm like, I'm done. And his daughter's like, you want a box to take it home? I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not taking this home. No, I'm done. I'm done. But it was a good breakfast. The kids got a little impatient, you know, as we were actually inside. They weren't impatient outside because they were running around playing, having a good time, playing with Papa, you know. But, um, when they were waiting for the food was when they got just a little impatient. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Because I knew food was coming. I'm hungry. I'm like, yes, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. But it was a good breakfast and it was fun. The kids were really well behaved, you know, and we had a good time. So I'm going to go get some glue dots for my pen and I'm going to open up this next section and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. You know how that goes. <laughs> Not only did I, you know, get a new glue dot for my pen and open up my section, but, you know, I changed my shirt because I was too hot and opened the window because I was too hot. And, you know, you know, all the things, all the things that had to happen before I actually made it back, right? <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. It's been a little, uh, a few minutes. Anyhow, okay, let me see. I need a color now. Let's get a color and then I can talk a little more. I was talking about Father's Day. Let me go back to Father's Day real quick. Let me start with something really bold and easy to find. I like to do that first. I like to do the bold colors, the ones that stick out. Yeah, I do those first. Don't ask me why, I just do. Okay, um, so after the breakfast, then of course it was the time with my family. I did that all in the wrong order, clearly. I told you everything in the wrong order. But, um, so, <laughs> A funny story I wanted to tell because I have a little video I'm going to insert in here. And that was, um, we decided that we wanted to like take some pictures. Do you guys do that? You get family get togethers and you, you know, want to take pictures, right? So, um, there were some pictures of the girls, meaning me, my sister, my mom and our daughters. Right. So, and then we added, Josh in there, and then Grandma. We wanted Grandma in there too, right? <laughs> well, we're sitting outside on my deck on my little love seat 
lawn furniture. <laughs> and we're like, come on, Mom, get on over here. Come over here. You can just sit on our laps or something, you know? And she's like, okay. So she comes on over. And did she sit on her lap? No. No. She decided she was just going to lay across all of us. There's three of us sitting on the love seat. And she decided she was just going to lay across us. <laughs> it, oh, my gosh. Hilarious. Hilarious, you guys. So I'm going to put that video clip in here. It was just funny as all get out. <laughs> just... But it was just a nice time. Um, the girls brought over, if you've seen those like ladder ball games, I think it's called ladder ball. They picked it up at uh, five below, you know, for five bucks. Where you throw the balls on a string and they have to see brand new glue dot too, right? Brand new glue dot. It's going to be super sticky. Um, where you have to throw the balls on a string and they hook over the ladder and, you know, and yeah. We played that for a while. That was fun. That was entertaining. I think pretty much all of us, well, except for my dad and my mom. I don't think my mom or dad actually got out there and did any of that. They just watched. They watched from the deck. But that was fun. So it was a good time. Good, good time. Um, I love family get-togethers, you know, and just spending time together and just having laughs and things like that. So... Um, then when they were getting ready to, everybody left and went home and the girls stayed for a little while and we ended up playing a round of Euchre. Shannon refuses. She's just like, no, I'm not playing Euchre. No, no, no. You know, I don't even know if she knows how to play it. I don't know. But so, um, Dale and I were partners and then Josh and Devin were partners and, Dale and I beat on. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Just saying. That's a big thing we've been talking about for the retreat, too, that people want to play Euchre. And I'm like, I got two decks of cards. I'm ready to roll. Okay. You know? So we'll see what we'll see what happens there. That'll be fun. Um, what else has been going on? It seems like there's been so much going on, but what's the interesting stuff? What's the interesting stuff? Ducks are naughty. Yeah, the ducks are naughty. They've been in trouble a few nights now. Since we put the young ducks in with the bigger ducks, the big ducks have got this attitude at night about going in their house and going to bed. They don't want to. They have been refusing to go in. Right? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. So they'll come up from the pond just fine. The little ones come up. The little ones go in. They're like, hey, we're going in. We don't care. You know, they don't know any better. So they just go in. They're like, yeah, it's time for us to go in. And if they, if they come out, if you leave the gate open waiting for the big ones and the little ones come out, they just really hang out in front of the coop. They don't really go anywhere. They're just right out there in the grass. They're just, you know, right there in the, in the area. All right. But the little ones are waiting. The big ones keep taking off and going. There's a little, I'll call it a little path. There's a little path that goes between the berries. Okay, the berries are over here by the coop. Here's the coop, berries. I hope you can see what I'm doing. And then there's, you go past the berries and there's a path. And that path goes back to the garden. And it, over here is all the woodsy area. Well, the big ducks love to go down the little path. And then they can get into the woodsy area. Now they can go all the way back to the garden. They can go around. They can go, they can go all the way out back. They can go wherever they want, but they go down the little path and they jet into the, into the bushes and the brush, the woodsy part. And when they're in there, it's almost impossible to get them out. I mean, you can't walk in there. You know, you have to like crouch and crawl through. It's really thick. You can't even hardly get through it. So getting in there to try to chase them out is difficult. Dale has done that. He's gotten in there. He's got the flashlight because it's always dark when they're doing it. Because they go in at dusk. But if they don't go in, then it's dark. So they're just giving us fits. Not going in, not going in. He went into the bush one night after them. 
he got tangled up. He tripped on something. He fell. Oh my gosh. Um, they're just being naughty. They're causing all kinds of havoc. Of course, the other night, I was the one trying to get them in. And if you wait, if you just wait very patiently, they will decide they're going to come out. Usually what happens is when the little ones go in and get settled and are laying down and sleeping, then the big ones will creep out and they'll come back around the little corner there in front of the berries and they'll wander off to the coop to go to bed. Well, if you rush them, all they do is turn around and run back into the woods, right? So I'm out there. It's raining. I'm getting wet. I'm just waiting for them patiently. I go back out and they're out and I'm like, okay, I can get them into the coop now. So I go out and I'm trying, sorry, big truck coming. Hang on. Big truck. All right. So I'm like, I can like herd them in from here. I know I can get them in. And I did really good, except a few of them decided they were going to try to veer off and run out into the woods. And I'm trying to chase ahead of them and go, no, 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 you're going the other way. And I was successful except for one. One got away and she got out into the woods. And I was like, dang it all. Now what? Now they're all in. I can't leave the gate open. I can't get her out. I'm like, I tried and I tried and I tried. I'm like, you know what? You're going to have to just stay in the berries for the night. I know you're in the berries and you're just going to have to stay there for the night. You're right by the coop. You're right by the pen. You can't get in now because it's all closed up. I, you won't come out and show your face. I can't get you. So I come into the house. Dale is taking a shower. He's ready for bed. And I'm like, I got everybody but one. He's like, well, do you know where she's at? And I'm like, I do. He goes, all right. Let me give it one more shot. Let me see if I can go get her. And I'm like, good luck. She's out there in the berries. He was gone about 15 minutes. He came back in and he goes, success. And I'm like, you got her? He got her. Yep. He managed to like scare her out of the berries with a stick. <laughs> and then she went running around to the other side of the coop where he caught her. He actually caught her. It's hard to catch them, you guys. Super hard to catch them. But he caught her and got her put back in. And he had a talk with her first. He's like, listen, listen, Missy. <laughs> you need to come in. You all need to come in at night. <laughs> I don't know if she was listening or not. But he had decided that the next day he was so mad at him. He's like, they're not getting out. They're grounded. If this is how they're going to be, they're grounded. They're not getting out. And I was like, okay, I won't let them out tomorrow. I'm fine with that. I'll leave them in. No problem. Because it's like two or three nights in a row now, you guys. Ugh. So I get up the next morning and I hear him outside. He's yelling at the chickens to get back in our yard because they're headed to the road. And then I realize everybody's out. Chickens are out. Ducks are out. And he said, you know what? It had rained so much, I had to let them out. They were just a mess, so I let them out. I'm like, okay. And that was the night before. And last night, last night, they went in like champs. They even went in a little early. They all went in. The big ones had taken the little ones down the path to the woods, which they've never done that before. So now they're all out that way. Dale put food out there in the coop for them. And I think that enticed the big ones to come up. And when they came up, everybody came up and they all went in. And I'm like, go, honey, go, go quick. They're all in. Go get them. He goes running out there and slam the gate shut. I'm like, yay, <laughs> we won. <laughs> One for the humans. <laughs> oh, they're being so naughty, though. I love them. They're the cutest things. But man, when they are naughty, they're naughty. You know what I mean? Just like, oh, stop it. Oh, that was my other tale to tell. That was my other big story of the week. But, man, they better get it together. He's not going to have my help for the rest of the week. He's got me tonight. Um, and then tomorrow morning I leave. So I hope he can get them corralled 
I mean, he's pretty good with them, but he does get a little impatient sometimes. I'm like, you just have to be more patient. You know, you have to give them more time. They need time to make the choice themselves. They need to be the ones to decide they're going in rather than us forcing them in. I've learned that, right? So good luck to him while I'm gone. You know, I hope it's successful. I hope I come back to all my ducks. <laughs> Anyhow, all right, um, what do you need to do to be entered to win a prize? You know that the prize is a Sheena Pike mug and some Sheena Pike stickers. They're the um, Chloe sisters, all right, and a pretty placer in there. It's a nice little gift package, so... What do you have to do to be eligible to win? Well, hopefully you've watched the video. <laughs> and hopefully you're going to leave a comment below. Um, and if you'd like, put an emoji in there. Put an emoji of like your favorite Sheena Pike painting. Something that represents it. Like I could put a picture of a tiger. Or you might put a picture of a little dragon or something. If there's an emoji and, you know, you get around to it. That would be fun to see what you come up with. But, yeah, comment, please comment, comment. You know, you can tell me what you're working on or what you love about it. Or, hey, if you have a question, hey, that would be a good thing. If you have a question for Sheena Pike for our interview time, that would be a great thing to put in the comments if you have a question. All right? And then I will do a comment picker next week and give away the prize. How's that sound? I thought I had three there, but I guess I only have twos. Twos, only twos, no threes. I use my four placer for pretty much everything. You know, I can do ones, I can do twos, I can do threes, I can do fours. All right. I think I'm done talking now because I'm going to have to get ready to head out here real soon to go get my thank you for your 23 years of service uh, certificate slash gift. <laughs> and then when I get home from getting my hair done, it's going to be packing, packing, packing for the rest of the night. Pack, 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 load the car, pack the car, load the car. Yeah. Exciting night for me. Woohoo. Okay. Thanks everybody for watching. And um, this is probably the last time I'm going to work on this until, I don't know, maybe Wednesday night I'll get to work on it. After we get everything set up at the retreat and get to relax for a little while. Before everybody shows up on Thursday. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go and get busy with all this fun stuff I get to do. Yay. Thanks for watching everybody. And I will talk to everybody real soon. Don't forget to comment and um, have a chance to win a prize. Okay. All right. I will talk to everybody soon. Bye. Take one cheek on shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm videoing it. Don't you worry. <laughs> I'm not on my side yet. <laughs> All right. Oh. Smile. Josh, get over here. You're going full. Oh. 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 I can't see Sherry at all. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. You're good. I'm gonna fix my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. You're good. I'm oh I'm videoing this no less. <laughs> You're good. I think she's comfortable though, yeah. Help her up. <laughs> Okay, we got it. Oh, shit. We got to spit on it. I, I, I.